Hebrews 12:28 and 29 Therefore since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken let us have grace by which we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear Verse 29, for our God is a consuming fire. Hallelujah. Amen. If then we have a kingdom, this now the other version, if then we have a kingdom which will never be moved, let us have grace so that we may give God such a worship as is pleasing to him with fear and respect. Verse 29, for our God is all burning fire. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 28, part B says, we have a kingdom which cannot be moved. I know in each of our own ways, you can stand and attest the kingdom you serve cannot be moved. The kingdom you serve have already fought your battles. And if our kingdom that you are in cannot be moved, let us have that grace so that we may give such a worship that is pleasing to him with fear and respect. So this morning, as we surrender to Him, surrender with fear and with respect. Because whoever we surrender to is not just like any other person. Whoever we surrender to this morning is not just like any other person. The word has just said, surrender. Offer you a worship with fear and respect. So we are not just offering any other worship. We are not just offering like, yes, we are not just here for any other purpose. We are here to surrender to him fully. The other year we were here. But today we can stand and attest, yes, he is a greater God. The kingdom we are in cannot and will never be moved. Yesterday as we were talking with the fruit team, I told them, the Lord is saying we are in the year that is of greater glory. We saw the words in the book of Haggai, chapter 2, and verse 6 to 9. Even then, they were shocked. Kuskia, we are reading from Haggai. You cannot expect what can come from there. But there was a word for us. We are moving to greater glory. Not even we are moving. We are already there in the greater glory. And the word said very well. The glory we have entered into. It's better than the first glory. So if you are here, you are saying, yes, we have the glory. Now imagine, the greater we are in, is the glory we are in is greater than the one we had last year. The kingdom we are in now is immovable, cannot. said you can in your own way I know you can attest that wherever you are the kingdom has fought for you the battles you thought that you can never win they already won so today this morning as we surrender surrender in fear and in respect 
to the Almighty. This morning, Lord, we surrender to you, Lord, because you are great and you are worthy. With fear and respect, Lord, here we are surrendering to you, Lord. We have no other God but you, Jesus. Only you, Lord. Only you. Raise your voice and appreciate him for he is great. Appreciate God for the kingdom we are in. He is the kingdom we are in. Come on, we Yes, we surrender, Lord, in fear. In your spirit, Lord, we surrender, Lord, because you are Lord. Lord, we surrender in your presence, Lord. In your presence, Lord, we are this one. We call everything. We give you love. Father, we surrender to you, Lord Jesus. We surrender, Lord, to you, Jesus. Oh, the word of God says, you call the things. That seems that can never be as if they are. So today we are calling things that we never thought that can be. We are calling them as if they are already here. Yes, they are already here. Tu 
am so blessed, my soul is at rest, oh Lord, I give you thanks, Father we are so Give thanks to him this morning because he is our God. Give thanks to him this morning. Yes, your soul is our Give thanks to him. Give thanks to him this morning. Oh, 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 o
from beginning to the end there's no place for argument you are God all by yourself oh you are God you are God from beginning to the end there's no place for argument you are God all by
We lift up your name, Jesus, because you are Hosanna. Yes, Lord, you are here. Yes, Lord, you are here, Jesus. As we declare, yes, Lord, you are here. As we sing this song, surrender to him fully this morning. There is no better praise like in his presence. His word told us in the beginning that the kingdom we are in is not moved. And as we worship, we worship in fear and respect. But I will come to you very soon, if the Lord is willing, and then I will find out not only how these arrogant people are talking, but what power they have. For the kingdom of God 
is not a matter of talk. Because I'm talking about power. If I can be helped. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God is not a matter of talk. The kingdom of God is not a matter of talk. Let me read from another version. For the kingdom of God is not in words, but it is in power. Listen carefully to the verse that follows. I'm reading from 1 Corinthians 4, from verse 17, from verse 16, Tarudia Tena. Therefore, I urge you to imitate me. That's Paul talking to the Corinthians. For this reason, I have sent you Timothy, my son, whom I love, who is faithful in the Lord. Who is faithful? Who is faithful? Who is faithful in the Lord? He will remind you of my way of life in Christ, which agrees with what I teach you, what I teach everywhere, in every church. I'm getting somewhere. Some of you have become arrogant. As if I was not coming to you. Some of you have become puffed up. Some of you have been inflated with pride. Some of you are boisterous. Some of you are bragging. But I will come to you very soon. That is Paul now telling the Corinthians as, as, as a, your apostle. I'm, I'm, I'm coming to you very soon. I've sent to you Timothy. But even if I sent you Timothy, the trusted one, you still are not listening. I'm coming to you very soon because there is something I have to tell you. There is something I have to insist. There is something I have to say with all my might and with all my power. Otherwise, if I don't say it, you are going to perish. If the Lord is willing, I'm coming out to you because I want to find out how the, not only how these arrogant people are talking, but I want to find out what power they have. I want to find out what these arrogant people just give pre, pre, pretentious speeches. These arrogant people give a pretentious worship. I am coming to you shortly. Now this is the apostle saying, I am coming to you shortly. And now Christ is telling us, KWCI, this time around it's not the apostle Paul who is coming. This is not the apostle Mudega who is coming. This is not apostle Grace who is coming. This is not prophet, prophetesses, prophet Ezra, prophet Re prophetess Regina, all bishops who are coming, this is not any man who is coming to you, KWCI, here and hearken to the word of God. This is I, God Almighty. This is I, Christ Jesus, the exalted one, who is coming to you. Shortly, shortly, I am coming to you shortly. And he's saying, I, Christ Jesus, the exalted one, who has been given a high position, a high-ranking position, above all principalities and powers, I am coming to you. I want to find out not only this arrogance and pride, but I want to find out what power is fueling that pride. What power is fueling that pride that you can't worship me? What power is fueling you? 
uko na nguvu gani uwezi inua kinywa chako uniabudu ni nguvu gani unatumia which strength are you using that you can't kneel before me you can't lay prostrate before me you can't lift your hands your worship leader is repeating over and over again we have entered into another dimension and another glory how which power is this which power is propelling you there must be another power Mary Kalela boss by the time I am through with this you should be on the floor by the time I am through with speaking what I am speaking you should hit the floor and start exalting the Lord you should hit the floor and start exalting the Lord you should hit the floor and start exalting the Lord Tumeimba hapa tumevikwa mafuta mafuta mabichi tumeinuliwa That is the song we are singing here. Tumeinuliwa. Na sisi ni washindi. How can a victorious person be singing the way we are singing? How can a victorious person be exalting the Lord the way we are exalting him? Okay, Lord. I have come to you. I have come to you this time round. I am not sending Paul. I am not sending Paul. I am not sending Apostle Peter. I am not sending your worship leader Peter. I am not sending the worship team. This time round This time round I Jesus I'm coming myself. I want to know which arrogance is this? I want to know what kind of power is propelling you to pray the way you are praying. Hallelujah. Kaja 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 mambo. Eh kaya basa era. Rima kaja ya bale kere bosa. I have a message for you KWCI. I was there and I'm praying. I'm praying and my spirit is saying no. My spirit is saying no. Ile moto imeakishwa hapa. Kutoka saa ile tulianza maombi on nines. We have been here every lunch hour traveling, praying, fasting and calling upon the name of the Lord. How can we come here for just two hours on Sunday and spoil everything that has been created a whole week? How? Which arrogance is this? Which power is this are you using? Oh God. We are gonna come against it all the demonic powers. Your worship leader can't repeat here over and over again. Tumevikwa mafuta mabichi. Tumeinuliwa. Hii siku inuliwa. What power are you using? Which is this power that makes you so proud you can't lift your hand. You can't kneel before me. You ca- ah. Which power are you using? Verse 19 inasema, I will come to you, Jesus himself is going to come to you. I will come to you. I will come to you. Very soon. Hata inaweza kuwa saa hii. It can be now. It can be this moment now as I speak to you. He can appear here right now. Kwa riba sia. I will come to you soon. Very soon that is what the spirit of the Lord is saying. I'm coming to you very soon. If the Lord lets me that's what Paul was saying. I want to find out where these arrogant people or we where these pretentious people have gotten the power have gotten the power to resist me. Where do you get the power to resist the almighty? Or which pride is this? Ah. Verse 20 says for the kingdom of god is not a matter of talk it is not a matter of staring it is not a matter ya kuzuba but the kingdom of god is a what let it be let it be let me give, uh, give up my everything wacha ninue mikono wacha nianguke chini wacha nimwabudu let me shout with all my might let me pray in tongues let me speak let me worship whatever they will say if it will take all my might to stand before you Jesus I will do it haijalishi yule ako kando na kando anafanya nini wacha yeye aonge wacha yeye azubae wacha yeye mind yake iende kwingine lakini mimi 
Nimevikwa mafuta mabichi. Nime I have been exalted. I've been exalted. My message today was about the exalted ones lifting and praising an exalted one. How can you lift an exalted one even where yourself you're not feeling exalted already? Verse 21 it says, What do you prefer? KWC, I am asking you, what do you prefer? I, Jesus, have come myself to you. I have come to you. I know you are waiting for that place where your worship leader is going to end with the worship. Alafu sasa, mavo ataingia pambio motomoto. That is the, 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 the session we are all waiting for. But the Spirit of God has said, has said no, 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 no. Are you as a cani? What power is propelling you? Oh, what power is propelling you to disobey me this way? What power is propelling you? What do you prefer? Verse 21. Shall I come to you with a rod of discipline? Or shall I come with love and with a gentle spirit? What do you prefer, KWCI? What do you prefer, my grace or my hand? Unataka nini? Unataka nini? Do I come with you as a gentle spirit? Or do I come with all my wrath and force? What do you prefer? What do you prefer? Today, KWCI, you are six years old in Kerigiti. I planted you there. You are six years old today. Since 2016, 17, January 15, I planted you in Kerigiti. I brought you here in Kerigiti and I brought you for a purpose and a reason. And this time I have told you, you have entered another realm and another glory. Just the, the, your worship leader is so much in spirit that he's saying it. We have entered another realm and another dimension. This is the sixth year. This is double grace. This is three, three. Ah, and the Lord is asking you for. Ah. What do you prefer? What do you prefer? By the end of these verses I'm reading to you, I want you to shut. Don't worry. If you start screaming, screaming the Holy Ghost. If you worship and scream, on our own water, Mogoroku, it is okay. It is okay. How can you be having an anniversary, your sixth anniversary, and all these people have decided to stay home and not to come to church on your sixth anniversary? They have decided not to be there. When the Lord is bestowing, his grace upon grace how 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 which power is this what is propelling this arrogant what what do you wish what do you wish as you pray as you pray i want you to answer the lord the lord is asking you unataka aje what do you wish what do you wish grace what do you wish mfasa what do you wish wesley what do you wish mwalimu what do you unataka aje do you want me to come to you as a gentle spirit or do you want my wrath and the hand of god to deal with you what kind of discipline do you want today for me, Grace, I will say neither. Neither, Lord. Don't deal with me with your harsh discipline. Deal with me with your gentle spirits. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Shela Lelele Bosakata. Isha Kamala Sinarabosa. Mwaneki, I want you to put, I want you to put uh, Jonah. I want you to put Jonah 3. Up and and then we are going to go into the prayers that the spirit of the Lord wants in this place. We cannot quench him. We cannot quench the power of God. Not in KWCI. Not anymore. The fiery and fiery ones are in the house. Ah, tuwezi poesha moto wa Yesu. Tutaongea na tutaomba na tutatubu. Dhambi ya arrogance. Kuzoeana na mungu Tumezoeana na maulana sana Oh the spirit of arrogance Live now 
leave now, leave in the name of Jesus. Oh, spirit of pride, spirit of pride, I can't kneel before you, I can't kneel before you, I cannot exalt you, I cannot lift my hands before you, I cannot cry before you. Ah, siwezi onekana, nikiharibu uso yangu mbele yako, siwezi onekana, mimi ni mwanaume siliangi, siwezi chukua handkerchief, siwezi lia mbele ya watu. Hey, spirit of pride, we kill you now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Jonah 3, and the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time saying, Twendele, a second time saying this, Galama Sharabo Zeke, I want you to listen to this word, arise Jonah, go to Nineveh, that great city, and preach to it the message that I'm going to tell you. This is the message that the Lord has sent me to tell you, KWCI. Jonah was sent to Nineveh with a message. I am bringing for you a message that this time round, it is not the visionary of this place who is coming to you. It is not Christ himself. It is not Paul, Apostle Paul who is coming to you. It is not Apostle Peter. It is not your worship leader. I am not sending any of this. I am not sending any one of this. It is not your pastor. This time, I, Jesus, I am not sending Jonah. I am not sending any prophet to you. KWCI, you are sick here. I am coming myself to you. What do you want? My hand or my grace? Arise, go to Nineveh. Arise and tell this city the message that I'm going to give you. Continue. We want to move very fast. Ah, I want the worship that you rise from this place. Eh? And the worship that you rise from this place. Starting from the drums to the keyboardists to the worship team to all of us is a worship that has never been seen before. Nikilio ambayo itasikika maili na maili na maili around Kerigiti today. So Jonah rose. Jonah was given a message and so he arose according to the word of the Lord. So I've come to you with a message and I've told you God's message. And his message is simple. His hand or his grace. His hand or his grace. This is not the kind of worship that our exalted Lord deserve by the exalted ones. According to the word of God. Now, Nineveh, KWCI, was an exceedingly great city. It was an exceedingly graced church. KWCI, you are an exceedingly graced church. You are exceedingly graced. And that city of Nineveh, it was a three-day journey. You find the word three again there. It was a three-day. Ukizunguka iyo church three days. Ulikuwa unaenda round, unaikava yote iyo Nineveh. It was a small city, but very great. KWCI. You might look small in the numbers. You might look small by the small uh, place where you meet. You are a small, but you are a great great church. You are a great sanctuary. In yourself, you carry nations. In yourselves, you carry, you know what you carry. You know what we carry. We don't have to repeat the prophecies that have been made here. We know we are great. We know we have been designed for greatness in Kerigiti. But end of verse 5. Uh, and Jonah began to enter the city on the first day's walk. Then he cried out and he said, Yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown. I want us to pause there and pause there and pause there and pause there in our hearts. There is a number of days that has been given to us. There is a number of days of God's grace that has been given to us. Even in eternity and in the time period that we are, the church age is coming to an end and God's grace is coming to an end. And now the Lord is telling us, to, I was reading, I took my Bible very quickly, I ran to that corner as Peter was leading the worship here. And the Lord told me, go to Jonah 3, go to Jonah 3. This is the message. 
Paul said, I am coming to you. I, I want to find out. I want to really find out who are these people. Who are these people? Ah, nasikia sauti nikiwa juu. Nasikia watu ni kama wanajaribu kuongea, kuworship nini, lakini who are these people? Mimi hawa ni kama si wajui. Who are they? And the Lord now is telling us in Jonah 3. The Lord is telling us in Jonah 3. There was a number of days there was a number of days that had been set up on us because of the steps we have started taking in our worship, in our praise, and in being so casual with God. There is a number of days that he has given us. He had, I am using the word had because it is past ten. There is a number of days he had given us. And if those number of days would have ended without us realizing that we have taken the wrong course as a river, we were going to be overthrown. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? That great grace that has been given to KWCI as this small church that is mighty that the Lord is using in this place for this time and in nations, our time had been counted. Our time had been counted. Our times have had been counted. That's why I want you to pray like you have never prayed before. When we start our worship and prayer, which we are going to in the next two or three minutes, the Holy Spirit has taken over this service, and we are going to do what the Spirit of the Lord is leading us. What is going to happen next is by the lead of the Holy Spirit. Pray like madness. Pray like this was the last hour you are living and you are breathing. Are you hearing me? Ah, I want you to repent on behalf of yourself, your children, and on behalf of KWCI sons who have made our days to be counted by the Lord. You just sit at home so casually. Your God is your grandpa. You can sit at home any way you want. You can't come to church because ah, it is January. He said he's the Lord of all seasons. For those who have been here in the lunch hour, uh, prayers they know what i mean they know the words that have been coming here they know what the lord has been encouraging us that he is the lord of seasons of all seasons and january is a good month and yet you disqualify every word that he says if he says january is a blessed month you disqualify it by staying at home ah you disqualify every word that he says by worshipping him casually. Oh God. We had been given days, I am telling you, KWCI, on this sixth year. Today marks our sixth year. And that is why I announced at the beginning of the year, we are not going to have pomp and color and the usual eating and drinking that we normally do. I didn't even know that the Lord is going to give us that verse. The kingdom of God is not just eating and drinking. Oh God. And the Lord said on this sixth year, you have stepped into, I want you that day to worship me. And that is why today in the afternoon we are joining our brothers and sisters by the grace of God. Our, our sister church and our friend church in Wangige has been able to bring a worshiper. We were there, some of us, on Friday night. And we have said we want to tap into that grace of worship. Those who are there, you know what happened on Friday night. How can you be so casual? Which power is propelling you to disobey God like this? KWCI, your days had been numbered. And that is why you will see other churches being exalted. Other churches growing like bushfire. And you know this grace was supposed to be yours. Lakini napatiwa wengine. Some other churches in Achibuka, ziko one year, two years, but the grace that is upon them right now, God. Which arrogance? Who is propelling this arrogance? What kind of power is this? Today we are standing by the name of Jesus. The fiery ones are in the house. Those who have discernment are in the house. We are not going to let this happen. Not under our watch. Not under our watch. If you are one of the fiery ones, I want you to give a big shout. Yes.
So the people of Nineveh believed God. Oh, Shelalabasa. And the king, and the king, he proclaimed a fast. My God. He proclaimed a fast. He proclaimed a fast. I told you this January, come here for prayers. Tutakuwa hapa. Every lunch time, tutakuwa hapa. I told you, come. Let's wear a sackcloth. Let's wear uh, uh, magunia. Wacha tukuje tulale hapa kila pahali. Wacha tumulilia buwana. Kukue stima, kusikue stima. Kukue na nini kusikua. Declare a fast, says the Lord. And he said that the Nineveh people believed in God. Jesus is asking you, do you believe my word today? Do you believe my word today? If we believe we are going to pray like this is our last day on earth. If we are believing in Christ, we are going to pray like we have never prayed to God. Tutamuamba msamaha. Kwa sababu ya kuwa casual, tutamuamba msamaha. Kwa sababu ya kuja kwa nyumba yake hivi tu. Oh God. Taking is great for granted. Tutamuamba msamaha. Kwa sababu ya taking his grace for granted. Use any words that the Lord is going to tell you. Cry if you can cry. Scream if you can scream. Tell him, Papa, we are sorry. We are sorry for taking your grace for granted. We know we are this a small church by number, but mighty and great in the graces that you had given us. But for six years you have graced us, and now we have become casual with you. We we enter church the way we want. We do our things the way we want. But today, the voice of the Lord has come to us and is asking us, I have come to you, me, Christ himself. I am standing here and I am asking you, what do you want, my grace or my hand? And Nineveh believed God and proclaimed a fast and they put on sackcloth from the greatest to the least of them. I want even the children in this house Nataka Tuombe, Kanio, we are going to pray. Biongo, Faith, we are going to pray. I want even the children in this house to taenda to kianza kuomba. Patience, we pray, we pray, we pray. I want us to pray. Even a small child you can pray. Tell God something. Ambia mungu wa tusaidie. Ambia mungu wa tusaidie tuweze kunyenyekea. Ambia mungu wa tusaidie tuweze kuomba. Ambia mungu wa tusaidie tuweze worship vile tunafaa ku worship and the whole Nineveh went into fasting and prayer kisha labu from the greatest to the small 26 people and the word of the lord came to the king of Nineveh and he arose from his throne the king, the king, the leader, the leader of Nineveh arose from the throne and he laid aside, ah, munanisikia, munanisikia. He laid aside his robe, ali, vu, ali towa mavasi yake akirasmi. The king himself, who are we? The king himself rose, akavua mavasi yake, akasema istaki leo, akavaa gunia. And then he did what? He arose from his throne, he laid aside his robe and and he covered himself with the sackcloth and ashes. Oh God. And he sat in ashes. Akakalia inaitwa ashes. Divu. Let's continue, Biongo. Let's continue. If this word is not touching you, then I don't know what else will remove your arrogance. Oh, and he caused it to be proclaimed. And he caused it to be proclaimed and published throughout Nineveh by the decree of the king. And his nobles, he said, let either man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Don't let them eat or drink water. There are some numbers. Our days had been numbered, KWCI. Our days had been numbered. The Lord was going to take our candlestick up. As a church from us, we cannot allow that. We cannot. Atuezi ruhusu iyo. Atuezi ruhusu because there is a remnant. There is a remnant. Ah, shelebose kalalabasa. Ah, let neither man nor beast nor herd nor flock test anything. Do not let them eat or drink water. Let's go to eight, Biongo. Let's go to eight. Ah, but let every man and beast be covered with sackcloth. Today we are covered with sackcloth in our hearts. We are covered with sackcloth in our hearts. Do something that you have never done. Worship 
God in a way that you have never done. And they cried mightily to the Lord. And they cried mightily to the Lord. Oh, let everyone turn from his evil way, from the violence that it is behold. Oh, and let every man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily unto the Lord. Remove away the oh God. And be among who remove your verdict unto us. Do not take away your grace from us. Do not take away your grace and goodness. Oh, to the tubu. Tubu. Repent on behalf of your brothers and sisters. And bow God. Nine, verse nine, verse nine, Biongo. Verse nine, Biongo. Oh, God. Who can tell? The king, the king, I can be a one and in heaven. Who can tell if the Lord will turn and relent and turn away his fears, anger, so that we may not perish? Now, I'm be a mulikua wakuanga miswa. <laughs> to whom more grace is given to whom more grace is given much is expected of you but we have turned to him in arrogance we have turned to him in pride turn away your anger turn away your anger turn away your anger Lord we are sorry Lord we are sorry Oh, even the Lord, you can just hear us. This one time, Lord, we repent on behalf of others. We repent on behalf of our brothers and sisters. Ah, spirit of cashiness. To make kuwa to kikuchukua hivi hivi. To make kuwa to kikuchukua hivi. Oh, we have not taken you seriously, Lord. We have not taken your word seriously, Lord. We have not taken your word. The worship team comes here. It is business as usual. Wana to ambia to him, bena to him be. Wana to ambia to abudu, na to abudu. What kind of power is this? Oh, no, 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 no. Sa, no, 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 Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. On the work of the Buyako, on the work of the Buyako, to
shall humble themselves and seek me. I will turn my verdict if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves if my people who are called on oh
3 and verse 8. Let the people and animals be covered with sackcloth. Let everyone call urgently, urgently, urgently. What we have just done is an urgent mission to avert a decree that had been made by the maker. Are you getting me? What we have just done right now, KWCI, is an urgent mission of repentance and worship and prayer to avert a decree that had been given by the maker. Christ himself had given a decree that on this sixth year, I will remove you. I will remove you. Kutoka kwa Raman in itawatoa. And you will never be heard again. That is what he was about to do. And the spirit of the Lord quickened me as I was praying there. And I said, Lord! Don't do it. Don't do it. We know you can do it. We know you can do it. Oh
declaration you're making in front of my spouse in front of my children in front of my job this place this morning I held something against you just before you came to worship me today on your, have you as, as you have entered your sixth year I had hold something against you when you entered into your fifth year last year you entered with grace you entered with glamour and with full force and I told you I'm going to grace you upon grace as you walk and you see, as you did the things you are going to do and as you did the assignments that I had called you to do. And I, Christ, have told you today, I have come myself. I have come myself. I have come myself. Through the voice, through the voice of your pastor, I'm speaking to you and I'm saying I have come myself. And as we began, I told you, a few, few, few hours ago, I had made a decree upon you. I had made a decree upon you because I love you so much. I was not going to watch you go down the drain like that. I had made a decree that would have even forced me to literally shut and close you up. That is how serious it was. Mufunge mlango yenyu kabisa and never be heard anymore.
Never to cry to me in that sanctuary. Never to lift up your voice in that sanctuary. Never ever to be heard. That is what I was going to do today, a few hours ago. But by the grace and mercy of God, to the voice of your pastor, I have come again, I have come again, I have come again with my grace. Come again with my grace. I'm reading Revelation 1. That was the word of God. The spirit of the Lord took over. But he has said he has come again with his grace. So he has removed his hand. Let's celebrate Jesus for that. <laughs> If the Lord deals with you with his hand, I'm telling you, none of you will survive here. None of you. I'm not even sure myself I will survive his hand. But he has said he's going to deal with us as a gentle spirit. His grace is sufficient. You have had many prophets talking about the seven-year period, Ambayo to Mengia. Actually, us, we have done six good years. We were counting with uh, my daughter, Shea, and we were saying, when you celebrate your birthday, you celebrate the years you have lived, and now you have entered a new season. As we have walked in Kirigiti for six good years, 2017, 2018, 19, 20, 21, and last year, which has just ended. For six good years, you have walked these streets of Kirigiti. And so now, you have entered the seventh season, in the seventh year. And the Lord was about to do a decision, a decision. Ambayo inge affect generations and generations to come. Akina Austin. Edu, what a Dalton, we would have affected this generation in a faith. Is that what we wanted? Is that what we wanted? Nimeenda uko kwa office and I've tried going over my sermon over and over again. The Spirit of the Lord is giving me messages that I'm telling him, no, I think I'm not hearing right. I think I'm not hearing you right. What are you saying? And he's saying, go tell my people this. Go tell my people this. After walking in Kerigiti for six years, I'm closing your doors. And I'll give the grace to another who is going to shout my name who is going to sacrifice, who is going to pay the cost. And the Spirit of God is so grieved because you have gone through it. You have paid the cost. To be where you are. Why do you want this seventh year to be blotted out of his agenda? He can't blot you out of his book. You love him, yes, but he was going to give you a rest in his ministry and in his work. Come, makulala nyumbani ndio unapenda sana, enda, go do it. Kama kukula na kukunywa, ndio usikuja hapa uniabudu, iyo ndio inakuhangaisha, I have given you the space, go. And now, Nafika pale kwa mlango na rudi na mama dalto na lini kuta kwa mlango. I am standing. She found you found me with a pen. I am standing. Nikuwa ni mesi mama kwa ofisi. I'm trying to write down what I'm hearing. Iyandikiki. Go tell my people. I'm shutting you out. I am shutting you out literally. And now the problem is those who are making us be shut out are not even here. Ah. 
you are making us being shut out at a uko kwa sanctuary you are not even here today and i told lord for the sake for the sake for the sake for the sake of those who cry out to you day and night have mercy for the sake of those who have said god i will go all the way with you lord have mercy it's not about this instrument it's not about the equipment if we shut here to easy to tauza to it's not about the things you have it's not about the media vitu vya mbonini duko nazo it's not about that and to the lord that is nothing he will shut there and we will walk out of this place never to be heard again and he is capable of doing that sons of god we are so mature and we have entered into the seventh season and the seventh season haitaki mzaha ama mchezo this is fire the lord will literally remove you he will literally remove you kutoka ramani ya assignment zake atakutoa and you will give another utafanya assignment ya pastor ionekane ni bure na si mimi mimi nitaenda na nitaanza huduma na nitaendelea kwa sababu ya moon fire for god and my fire is not ending any one time soon because of you i don't live for god i don't serve god because of kwci i would serve god even in green pool i would serve god in atlantica i would serve god in huku chini kuna attic I'll serve God anywhere put me anywhere mimi nimejitolea the bihu i have given myself totally remove everything i know what is to abound and i know what is to be without nimejifunza kudhiliwa akudhaliwa katika yote Wewe bado Mungu Ninatua kushiba na kulala nja Katika yote Wewe bado Mungu Nimetifunza Nimejifunza Katika yote wewe bado Mungu Ninachoa kushiba na kulala na Katika yote wewe bado Mungu Na I want you to sing it from your heart Sisi tumejua budu na kwa budu Wewe ni chanzo cha uhai wangu na kuinua na kuinua Wewe ni chanzo Work, 
I know you are perseverance for those six years. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know you cannot tolerate wicked people. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know you have tested those who claim to be apostles and are not. I know you have tested those who, are, who claim to be false teachers and are not. I know you have the word. I know you have the word. I know you can quote verses. I know you read your Bible. I know all these. I know. You have persevered. You have paid the cost. Mumelipa garama ambayo. Ata ijalipwa na mtu mwingine around kirigiti here. Mumelipa garama. Na ile garama mumelipa it was enough for you to close shop and to go home. But you didn't. You persevered and you went on. I know. Revelation 1. The Lord was speaking to the church in Ephesus. And he's speaking to us and he's telling us. You have persevered, you have endured hardships for my name, and you have not grown weary. I know, I know, I know all that. But as you came this morning, verse 4, yet I hold this against you. I know, I know I love you so much, KWC, I love you. You have become a household name in the nations and those who are watching us online. You have become a name to be reckoned with. But I have this against you. Consider how far you have fallen. Where we read in Corinthians that what is this power that is propelling, propelling your arrogance? Which is this power? Hata mi mwenyewe yesu nataka kujua. Nini ni? Nini ni? What kind of power is so strong? It is propelling your disobedience. But I thank God. He continues to say, repent and do the things you did at first. I want you to look at your neighbor, Vizuri. Vizuri, Vizuri, Vizuri. And you're preaching to them and as you're also preaching to yourself. I want you to tell them, my neighbor, my neighbor, repent and do the things that you did at first. We have repented. We will continue repenting. We will continue praying. Ambia Mwenzako, do the things you did first. Do the things you did first. Tulianza na roho. Tulianza na moto. Tulianza, ah, unge tushika hapa crusade nini. Open, open doors, open fire, fire, fire. But it has reached a place you can stand before the mirror, dress up, and look at yourself and say, I'm very smart. Take your handbag if you're a lady or your wallet and walk out of the door of your house and you're not heading to church. What kind of power is propelling this arrogance? If you're listening to me and you're home, ah, Sisi hapa tumetubu. Kama ni wewe unataka hii milango ifungwe. Ujue sasa kutoka saa hii mambo imebadilika. Rosmoando ameimba na akasema, I've changed the agenda. We have changed the agenda today. So sisi milango yetu haifungwi, but who and to you? It is so bad because your agenda, your assignment and everything that the Lord had given you and you know you have not done it the way the Lord wanted you to do, it's being shut today. It's being shut today in the watch of our eyes, unless utubu nasisi. So if you are there and you are watching us at the comfort of your home, and you decided that you won't come and watch us from the comfort of your home, Make sure you kneel down where you are. Kneel down where you are. If you belong here, kneel down where you are. Tubu, sisi tume tubu. So what the verdict the Lord had given unto us. Yetu imeondolewa. Sijui kama imefika kwako. Sijui. It's upon you to discern and know. Lakini sisi, we've been told the grace is sufficient. And so Ephesians 1 but you have, uh, he's saying repent, do the things you did first. If you do not repent, this is what the Lord was about to do. This is what the Lord was about to do. Jonah was told, go tell Nineveh the words that I'm about to tell you. 
and Jonah, we know the story of Jonah. Jonah would not even be able to carry the heaviness of God's judgment to the people of Nineveh. He, he hid and he ran. The, 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 the judgment was so heavy. I was feeling like Jonah today, running. I was telling the Lord, this Atta Yandikiki, what are you telling me? How will I say it? But when I came here, and your worship leader is struggling, he's telling you guys, we have gone to another level. We have gone to another realm. But the melodies coming out of our hearts and our mouths, that propelled me from that chair. We don't know iyo milango inge fungwa aje na njiangani, but inge kuwa so bad on us. I told the Lord in my spirit, I cried out, I went to that corner and I said, Lord, for the sake, for the sake of those who cry out to you day and night, don't do it. If you don't repent, I will come and remove your lampstand from its place. Iyo nyota yako inanga, iyo tayako meku kiringa nayo. I am from KWC, yes. Nakuja, nita watoa kwa ramani ya my assignment. You know this year the Lord told us, this is the year of the supernatural and great, greatest preternatural abundance assignments with fruitfulness. He was going to remove all that. He is ready to remove all that to save you. You go back to your house and you start counting the cost again and that would take you another six years to reach where you are here. And I said, God, please go. Give me a chance. Let me stand before them. And the Lord has seen our heart and he's saying this. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to us. To the one who is victorious, I will give you the right to eat from the tree of life, which is the paradise of God. So we have entered into the grace of eternity the grace of victorious living, the grace of living in eternity while on earth. That's a grace I don't even know whether there is anyone who has ever been given. If I was you, I would say amen. This is a grace of eating from the tree of life perpetually and bearing fruits 24-7. I have given you a right to eat from the tree of life and to bear the same fruits. What happened to Jonah, to Rudy Jonah now, the last part of Jonah, let's see what happened when they repented. Ephesians has been told, if you repent, I will not remove the, the lampstand from your midst, sita watoa, sita watoa, kama kielelezo, kama muangaza, kirigiti, sita watoa. I've changed my mind because of the act that you have done today. There was an urgency. And I know the Holy Spirit has operated in each and every one of us. Na isi kitu atitunarudia ya kuripent tena kwa sababi ya gadhabu ya mungu. We have entered into his grace. It's the year of our rest. So this year we have entered into, as we move into the seventh year, it is working for him in rest. Everything we set our hearts to do will succeed and succeed abundantly. What will happen now? Anyone or anything that tries to take us, bring the spirit of sabotage, or tries to take us away from the, our assignment and our course, tunapita na ye. Tunapita na ye. Kwa pishadi. Tunapita ne kumera kumera. Tunapita na ye. We are reading John, yes. And God saw. And God saw. And God saw their works, their repentance, their heart. God sees the heart. And God saw their heart. And God saw their heart. That they had turned from their evil way. Your evil way doesn't have kuwa kunyanganya, kuiba, kuroga. That doesn't have to be your evil way. 
your evil way is your arrogance before God. Usha yona mtu tu amekaa hivi unaangalia God hivi. Ni wakati wa kuabudu. Peter nasema pa we have entered a glorious time and this is time we sing this song yeye ametuinua, ametuelevate na mnaangalia Peter hivi. Seriously. That is an evil way. Ambia mwenzako that is an evil way. Huko tumetoka. You can talk freely to your friend now. Eh, hey, mwambie that is an evil way. Eh, hey, kuzubaa na kuangalia pita hivi. That is an evil way. Ai 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 ai. Kuangalia praise team hivi when they are worshiping. Eh, hey, tell him that is an evil way. Yes, Austin. Evil way. I like when we preach with this prophet. Yes. Austin, imagine, evil way. Wewe unaabudu hapo na sisi tumeangalia baba. Ah. Austin, grow up haraka ukuje waonyeshe mambo inafanywa aje hapa. This guy atatoa masauti hapa. He will run and come and overtake. And these little ones here, mcheze na wao. Yes, Austin, ah, in fact he should be given a mic. Then God saw their works that they had turned away from that evil way that evil way and god relented mtu atuangalia kwa english dictionary nimewaruhusu enda kwa mtandao angalia relent ni kusema nini haraka haraka and god relented from the disaster that he had he was just about to do and he said he would He, he had he relented from the disaster that he had said he would bring unto them and he did not do what and he did not do what he did not do it so that is the good news our story is ending very well ambia mwenzako our story is ending very well amwambia mwenzako our service today is ending very well that is my what that is my preaching today ambia mwenzako muhubiri ameshahubiri hiyo ndio ilikuwa sermon yetu leo relent 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 ni kufanya nini Austin eh a verb the meaning is abandon all abandon the lord has abandoned all his decreed that he has decreed against you he has abandoned all na hachukui tena kwa hivyo kama alikuwa anakuja kunyakua the lamp stand from us mwangaza wetu tusingare tena amesema i have relented i have abandoned yako inasema it's the same i have turned my back i am not looking at that decree anymore and when a king takes back his word it's final he's the same king whose word is final if he takes back his word and ana uguoko <laughs> ana isema now in a better way so he whatever he had said he would bring upon them he did not do it so what did he do now that's the revelation the one now we have read this is the last one then we pray revelation 17 he who has an ear He who has an ear sasa muendelee kusikiza what the spirit of the lord is telling the church na kwa wale wanatu watch kwa mtandao the operation that has happened to KWCI on this sixth year and as we step into our restful year the same can happen to you if you tap into the same grace today the holy spirit has operated on us he has changed the whole service and today we were in a process of making the river go back to its course. So if you are there and the river has lost its course, irudishe, iregeshe haraka sana because there is an urgency. You don't know the decree that was to come upon you today. Tuache hiyo roho ya kuzoea Mungu. Tuache roho ya kuzoea Mungu. I've said he's not your grandpa, he's not he's a loving father. Inogukani yeye hata ukienda kwake nyumbani my father my children used to call my father guka and he his uh, he laid to we laid him to rest a year and so ago and they know every time they would go to guka he would give them goodies he would play with them he would tell them good things guka will never rebuke you never he had reached an age 
Sasa yeye hawezi kukukasirikia hata hana hiyo strength ya kukuchapa. So hii mnajua mkienda kwa guka mko sawa. Hata wafanya kitu. You can misbehave the way you want kwa guka. Eh? That is why I'm saying God is not your grandpa. Stop being so casual. Mkono wake ukikwangukia. It is not going to be business as usual. What happens to a son in the kingdom when the hand of God deals with you? You retrograde, you go back so many years behind for you to come to where you are, where you were on fire. Utakuta wengine rapture imefanyika. Na maybe at that time ndio utaachwa. Hapa, hapa pa arrogance. Ambia mwenzako take care. Take care. Mwambie this year, 2023, tulisema serious business, serious business, serious business. How can it be that the whole of the church is only the flow team that wana meet, wamesema sisi kutoka this year, tutafanya hivi? Why is it not the other groups are meeting and making sure that they make plans for this year that are very serious? Now, nikona their, inaitangwa manifesto ya mwaka. They have already laid down their, their manifesto and they have already said what they want to do. Why don't you chukua hiyo? Take it. Let us appreciate the, the, the team. Let's appreciate the team. So then they are on fire and they are coming here. We, we've been elevated. Your song to Likua to Naimba. You have been elevated. Umeni Nua. Umeni weka mafuta mabichi, umeni nua, you have exalted me. And they are trying to pull you to the level where they have reached now. We are atupuliki, but that has ended. Ambia mwenzako, that has ended. Ambia floating, we are in the same level now. Thank you, thank you for bringing us to the same level. Atuwa shukuru! Hey, thank you for bringing us to the same level. Whoever has a near... Let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches, to the one who is victorious. Ambia mwenzako, I am victorious and I have an ear. I am victorious and I have an ear. Mimi ni mshindi na niko na masikio. Mimi ni mshindi na ninaskiza. I will give him the right to eat from the tree of life. From now on, from now on. Our Sunday services are not going to be dry. Ah, kuna kitu kama kukaukiwa. Tumekata, tumekata, tumekata. Hakuna ati maombi ya kuhit roof huku. Ambia mwenzako, hakuna maombi ya kuhit the roof hapa. Mwambia hakuna anga ya kungangana not in KWCI. Hapa ni kuflow, kuflow. Kama the flow team. Sema hapa ni kuflow. If you are praying, you flow. If you are worshipping, you flow. If you are giving the word, you flow. Everything in this place into. Ama mjui flow in Amanisha. Frequency. Ama mnafikiringi ni flow too. Flow. There is a level. And the Lord is saying, go back. Go back to your first love. Rudini, pale. Pale, pale. Mungekua hapa when we started this place and the worship that was here the, our worship ilikuwa na mikono ilikuwa inashika na inavruta it was tangible tuliambiwa the other day even a day is tangible kwanza inazaanga hey, we. hiyo ni ingine ukikuja hapa during our services utakuta mambo here yeah, a day gives birth to you. So even our worship economy kono in a songa in a vuruta na in a letter. So as we worship, that is the way it used to be. So it should get capture kamata letter hapa. Our worship. Our worship is our weapon. Na kama haikamati na kuleta hapa, hii ingine inaangamiza. If you are not for us, you are against us. And we cannot allow you to be against us when you are here. So tukukamate, tukueke in our frequency. Ama tukurudishe uko. We hand you over to Satan. Umechi inulia malaika wakukwa budu Tuangana na otuasema uwa udire Umechi inulia Hey, 
If you love him, just sing. takes us through the giving with worship. I want us to make one final prayer. And our prayer is Ule ambaye amefungwa na minyororo because that is an evil way. And the Lord wants to turn that evil way. I prayed one prayer when I was getting into a formal job. And my prayer as a young girl nikambia mungu Usi wai nipatia kazi ambayo itanichukua na initoe kwa madhabahu yako. That is a prayer I made. Nilikuwa nimetoka katika ile hali niliwambia a mad girl uh, ambaye amechizi seeing psychiatrist ambaye ameenda madhare. I had seen the grace of God healing me. There is no way, there is no way I was going to exchange that for money. I was not going to exchange that for money. And this is one of the reasons why the Lord is saying he will take away the lampstand from you. So this is ours in here to KWCI. And the same warning and instruction is being given to those who are watching us online. We are going to say this crazy prayer for our own, our own sons in the house here. If the Lord is going to bless the work of our labor, it will not be by working on Sunday. If the Lord is going to bless the work of our labor, ah, you can clap if you are clapping. If he's going to 
bless you with the fruits of your labor it is not because of sweating on the sunday kwa hivyo right now tumepewa mamlaka na tumepewa authority and we are speaking from another level we want to reverse and to change na kuharibu the agenda of the enemy of making the sons in the kingdom to work on sunday and we have no apology about that we have no apology about that i have never worked on a sunday and i have worked for more than 20 years in a formal working and even in business and if i go to work in a kuanga after masa ya kumwabudu na kumworship how do you go and start doing the work of the world whereby the work of the kingdom is waiting for you i want you to make a crazy prayer in two minutes nataka tu wangoe ambao wako hapa and they are sons of the kingdom and they are working on sunday i want you to snatch them by fire by force next sunday hakuna mtu anafanya kazi sunday if you belong here you come and work all of the days that the lord has given you and on sunday you come and we praise lord and we worship the lord two hours wezi patia mungu two hours wezi I make that crazy player wangoe 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 ah kama utatoka kwa hiyo job utatoka raka rabara roma saka tarabale ketero shika taya maroko torabaza no walking no walking on the day that you are supposed to be worshiping me i have refused i your lord has refused reka ya rebosa you have entered another season kwci this is a season son of seriousness in the name of Jesus Satan is not on leave ah shetani hachezi mchezo na sisi hatuwezi cheza mchezo wangoe 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 ngoa hizo kazi kazi za sande tunangoa kazi za sande tunangoa kazi za sande eh sakaya raka tarabasa rebo sekete by the fire of the holy ghost fire of the holy ghost fire of the holy ghost talk to those employers Talk to those employers ambao wanapewa watu kazi sande we are talking to them release our people release our people release our people kazi za sande tunazinyamazisha kazi za sande we are putting them to a stop in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hapa siku tupu hapa ni kungoa hapa ni kungoa hapa ni kungoa shakarara sarabosa sekete kerebosa shakatara basa rima sekete we are speaking to you employers we are speaking to you employers release our people release our people release our people hey takes you away 
from the house of God, it is an idol. And the Lord will not compete with it. The Lord will not compete with it. Either akuondoe ama ondoe kazi. Shakaya. Rima zeke ya rabasa. Either akuondoe ama aondoe kazi. Chagua, chagua ni gani. Choose ye. Who told you by not going to work on Sunday utakufa njaa? Nani alikuambia? Nani alisema kumeandikwa wapi? What kind of arrogance is this? What kind of power is propelling this arrogance? The Lord gave me the grace to take the bull by the horns. You are going to see a different pastor this year. This time. This time. This time. This time, 2023, tunapita nayo, tunapita nayo. Ni chanjela, thank God you are here today. Hii ya ijapita na wewe, tafadhani. Hii ya contract, ano ogik on ata kama ni ya milion mbili. That is the cost you will have to pay. Ata kama customer. Ana kupe million gapi, muambie kuja sana ne, tutafanya iyo deal. Kama akubali iyo pesa, it's of an evil way. Ule ambaya nasisitiza, and taking you away from the sanctuary of God for two hours, it's an evil agenda. Tumezikata, tumezikata. Ambia customers wako, ambia your clients, ambia watu wako wa business, tumeanza na Sunday leo. To leo to metaja Sunday, but the Spirit of God is going to go a notch higher. At the end, another level. At the end, Wednesdays. At the end, don't worship. At the kuja kesha. Kitu ya yote inaitwa kazi na kutoa kwa izi zote. Yes. Fagia, fagia. Yes. We are not babies. Mtoto wa miaka saba, Gerald, mkubwa. Anaeza jiosha, anaeza ndaduka, anaeza fanya Jero sikuizi anafanya kazi yata tunashanga anashe Anainua mpaka box, anabeba, anapeleka kwa gari Si mtoto tena As we give, nimesema hiyo sasa niko kwa the last one As we give As we give We are not babies Si tumesema we are not babies Tunapewa till number, tunapewa bahasha So anything that is hindering you from giving in the house of God is an evil way. So if you know, wewe ni ule unachaguanga noti, eh, unapea na 50, unabakisha 100. My God, this year, this year, you better bring your tithes to the house of God. You better bring your thanksgiving, your offering. You better bring a good offering. Si kuvunja vunja na kukosa kulete. So it's time for our giving. It's time. And when I say it's time for giving, mutakuwa muki scream, muki shangilia, na muki furahia, ni wakati wakupeana katika nyumba ya buwana. Hallelujah! Amen! The Lord bless you, keep you, and do you well. The Lord lead you and guide you this week. This afternoon we are going for the worship experience. Ya, ya danke nuko wangige. Whoever wants to come, the organizer is here, mutamuona. But for now, we are giving. So the Lord be with you. And we have done what the Lord wanted us to do. We meet here. We meet here. Tomorrow, we continue with our lunch hours. The Lord bless you.
want to speak a blessing upon our sister. Mama Mora. <coughs> She's been a great blessing into this place. Uh, giving we have learned things here even giving it has it's an entity of its own and it talks back it talks back so mama mura has brought something in the house of god and i'm receiving it and i'm blessing her and i want to speak a word over her life i want you to raise your hand as we bless this daughter of the house tell the lord even me eh nataka kuwa moja wa kingdom financials na wale watakuwa wanakimbia hapa mbele kuombewa na kukusema shukran we are giving thanks hallelujah so lift up your hands even as we pray speak a blessing over mama mora her children and speak a blessing over yourself also father i thank you i glorify your name i give you glory i give you honor nina semani asanti thank you for the seed that mama mora has planted for her business and lord we have spoken and your word is established that she is going to prosper in that business in the name of jesus and even for those who have given seeds here before over their businesses lord in the name of jesus we know you have continually do done them good lord today you have told us to come back to bring the river back to its cause a lord by our giving we shall see your faithfulness in the name of jesus umeendelea kumbariki umeendelea kumuonekania na utaendelea na utaendelea zaidi na nenea baraka katika maisha yake na nenea kuinua hiyo biashara katika jina la yesu and it is going to bring a hundredfold back in the name of jesus hata wai kosa wateja wakuzia customers and everyone else whatever she said hata wai kosa goods to bring and to carry on that business in the kingdom way in the name of jesus to nanena unamuinua and you are elevating her into another glory realm atakuwa kielelezo kwa wana biashara wengine ya kwamba mungu unabariki wana wako in the mighty name of jesus i bless each and every one of us and i know lord we are going to follow the kingdom principle of giving even students even those who are of us wale ambao hawana ajira ati permanent lord you honor faithfulness let us start little where you we are and lord you are going to elevate us in the mighty name of jesus we bless you and we exalt you in jesus mighty name